What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and I am here today to talk about my November wrap up. I read six books in the month of November which isn't really a lot for me but I'm still extremely pleased. This was probably my best reading month ever. Out of those six books three of them were five star reads so really good month. <laughs> With that said I'm just gonna jump in and talk about the books that I read in the month of November. The first book that I read in November was Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand and I absolutely loved this book. If you can't guess, this is one of my five star reads of the month. I just really liked this. This is actually a really good one to read in October. It's got very spooky vibes, very atmospheric, very original feeling and overall it was just a really solid book. So it's about these three girls and then it's told from each one of their perspectives and they all live on this island that is haunted by this monster. The monster hunts and kills and <laughs> eats girls and it's pretty awful and horrific. One of the three girls is brand new to the island and she is experiencing this monster firsthand and the other two girls are pretty much enemies and it's just how all of their stories intertwine together, how their friendship develops, what happens when they encounter this monster and how they just recognize the strength within themselves to defeat the enemy. And I just I I thought this was so good. It was really original. The writing was fantastic. I love multiple perspectives. The whole island was just like very, I felt like I was immersed in the setting. Um, it just was so original. That's how it felt. I haven't really read anything like this before. It's kind of like thriller meets mystery meets a little bit of horror and fantastical elements and I'm just here for all of it. I really liked just the friendships that developed and overall I just super loved this book. I gave it five out of five stars and I highly, highly recommend reading this when you are in for a spooky read. Coming down from all of my spooky reads that I read in October and then also the first one in November, I went ahead and picked up a manga and that was volume three of Dream and Sun by Ichigo Takano. Again, I'm really enjoying this series. It's about a girl who is roommates with three other guys. It kind of reminds me of like New Girl, if you've ever seen this show. So it's just really comical, really funny, really lighthearted, and um, just overall like really silly. I super enjoy it and I definitely recommend. I ended up giving this three out of five stars. I'm super excited to talk about the next book because I can confidently say it is one of my new all-time favorite books that I have ever read. Might be the best book I've read all year. Definitely a rival to my already favorite. <laughs> that was The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. Oh my goodness you guys. So this is an historical fiction sort of. I mean it's set in like the late like 1969 early 70s 80s. It follows these four siblings who when they're younger they go and see a woman who can tell them the day that they're going to die. So all four of the siblings find out the date of their death and it follows in four parts each of the siblings how that information affects their lives and what they do with it. This was just so good. It's so good. I love books because they just really like your favorite book usually are your favorites because they resonate with you in some personal way and that was definitely the case for this book. I I'm someone who thinks about dying a lot, probably more than I should. It just really wrestles and like discusses and brings forth that topic in just really raw and an emotional way. And I just saw pieces of myself in each one of the four characters. I loved the siblings' relationships. I loved how each one of them struggled with knowing the date of their death in such a different way. And oh man, I just like, I just really loved it. I thought the writing was absolutely beautiful. I'm really hoping for a lot more from Chloe Benjamin because I will read anything she puts out at this point. I just love this book. I cannot rave about this enough. I think it's brilliant. I think everyone needs to read it. I think if you're in a book club, I would recommend this. I would love to discuss it with more people. <sighs> five out of five stars. This was so good. I loved it. The next book that I read in the month of November was Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. This is definitely something I should have read 
read in October as it was graphic and gory and creepy as all get out and I don't recommend this book if you do not like heavy mystery thrillers. Uh, definitely graphic, really intense. With that said, I was super intrigued. I could not put this book down. I mean, there's trigger warnings for like everything in here, but oh my goodness, it was really good. So this book follows two sisters who are estranged. They haven't talked in years, I think like 18 years. They also had a younger sister when they all three were younger who went missing and is presumed dead when she was, I think 19. So it deals a lot with how that death affected their family growing up and how most of them just kind of split and part ways. And then there's just this completely crazy, earth-shattering, thriller, uh, bad guy yeah, stuff that happens. And it's just really hard to explain, but it's really good. And the two sisters, like, obviously end up coming together to figure out at the end of the day who the younger sister's killer was. And, but like, everything that happens leading up to that is just insane. And it was super action-packed. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a little confusing. Like, there's still pieces that I don't really understand completely. That can happen with me in mystery thrillers though. Sometimes there's just like so much going on and there's so much complexity that I just don't like a lot of stuff gets kind of muddy and lost along the way. Because of that I did end up giving four out of five stars but I really enjoyed this mystery thriller. Really action-packed and it was pretty fun to read. Okay when I say that I had a really good reading month I had a really good reading month because the next book is another one of my all-time favorites. I can't believe it. I thought for a long time there that like I was just really picky with books and I couldn't have any more favorites and I just like I didn't even know what it felt like to read a favorite and then this month I just all of my expectations were blown out of the water because I read so many new books that became my favorites. Anyway I'm just so happy because it feels really good to read books that you just love especially when you're someone who reads so many books you know every month and you love reading just as a general hobby like it's so good to be reminded that like these are the books that make me really love reading. So with that said the next book that I read in the month of November was Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow. This is by Jessica Townsend and it's the second book in the Nevermore series and it is so good. So I am sure you've heard about Nevermore. It's all over booktube as it should be. A lot of people compare it to Harry Potter. It's not a fair comparison obviously because Harry Potter is just in a whole nother league of its own but I will say that you get the same just whimsical, magical, wonderful feelings when you read these books you guys they're so original I'm so happy because again when you read books so many books like you start reading a lot of the same tropes a lot of the same things happen and this is just so it's a breath of fresh air to read about Nevermore and Morgan Crow and oh it is so good so this follows Morgan Crow who was set to die on her 11th birthday she doesn't she gets kind of swept away into this new magical world away from her horrible family and she is is in the first book she has to go through these certain trials in order to enter this like special society go to this special school and then the second book takes off from where that left off and it's just so good it's even like the second book was even better than the first book. I enjoyed Nevermore, but I did get a little bored in some parts. So I gave it, I think a 4.5 out of five stars. This was 11 out of 10, highly recommend. Like this was so good. It was action packed. The pacing was perfect. The issues were complex. There were a lot of like internal struggles that Morgan had to go through that I didn't even know what to choose. I was like, girl, I don't know how to help you right now. I hope you make the right choice. And it was just so good. I loved the, I love the friendships and the relationships the loyalty, just the the uh, creativity of world building. I can't say enough good things about this and I highly recommend picking this up, especially in the winter time. I love whimsical middle grades and this will take you there. It's so good. For any of you that have read it, can you not get over like the cover after you find out what the cover is about? Because I can't. I look at this cover and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> after I read. I hope someone else feels that way because I just like, oh, it's so good, you guys. 
please go pick this up. Please, I need more people to read this. So good. Okay, I need to hurry this along. I have something in my eyeball. So the last book that I read in the month of November, I finished it yesterday, and that was Sadie by Courtney Summers. This was pretty good. I think it's overhyped though, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that because I was expecting a lot from this book over the way that it's been talked about on booktube. Um, a lot of booktubers have loved this book. They recommend the audiobook, which is actually what I listen to. It's a full cast and it's kind of like it goes between Sadie narrating her own story and then a podcast and like this guy who runs this podcast is trying to figure out like what happened to Sadie because she's missing and uh, there's just like this mystery and you don't know why Sadie's doing what she's doing kind of the whole time and it's not like a big reveal at the end. I didn't think. I wasn't shocked by what happened but they really like let things come together slowly. The pacing was fantastic. It's not a very big book. Um, it is really good. I recommend it. If you don't listen to a lot of mystery thrillers, you might love this book. But I just didn't love it. And like, it took me like, honestly, until I was like about 70% through the book is when I really started to get like, oh, okay, I get why people like this. But I just wasn't like in love with it the way that everyone else has been in love with it, which kind of makes me sad. I think this is actually a rare occasion where I would have liked like reading the book better than listening to the audiobook, which is bizarre because it was a full cast on the audiobook, which was cool, but I don't know if that was maybe just more distracting for me, or I actually really enjoy reading books that have uh, different like formats. And this, when the podcast is going, like cuts it up like between um, the people that are talking. And I think I would have enjoyed reading that. But anyway, with all that said, I thought Sadie was really, really good. I think it's a little overhyped on booktube, but well-deserved. It is a good book, but I don't think it's like the most earth shattering book I've ever read. I ended up giving this four out of five stars. All right, you guys. Well, those are all of the books that I read in the month of November. I had such a good reading month. I'm so happy. I cannot believe that I read six books and out of six of those books, 50% of them were five star reads. I mean, that just, I can't really remember the last time I had a solid five star read. And especially out of two of those three new favorite all time books, I'm just over the moon. I hope December is just as good as a reading month. We will see. It's December 1st. So far, so good, but who knows? <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. Be kind to someone today, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!